Sometimes we would like to get information over groups. For example, we may want to know the average wage for male and for female workers. That is to get the average wage for each gender group. Or we may want to figure out the minimum or maximum wage inside each group. In order to do that, we should know about status underscore variables, and by sort prefix. Let's take a look at the by sort prefix in Stata first. The by sort prefix can be used with many Stata commands. We specify the by sort prefix followed by a categorical variable, which is the group we want to analyze over. After the colon, we type the Stata command. The command will be executed for each group defined by that categorical variable. Let's open the National Longitudinal Survey of Women dataset. There is a categorical variable called occupation. There are 13 categories or groups. Within each category or group, we can calculate the mean the minimum value and the maximum value of the wage we type by saw occupation and colon and the command egen wage group mean equals the function mean and the variable wage inside the parenthesis. We browse the data and check the result. The average hourly wage for the first occupation group, professional and technical, is $10.7. Using the same method, we can obtain the minimum value and the maximum value of wage for each occupation group. For example, for the second occupation group, the managers, the average hourly wage is $10.9. Minimum wage is $2.4 and the maximum wage is $40. Let's turn to underscore variables. We have met an underscore variable, the underscore merge, in video number 12, where we talk about how to merge datasets. Today, we will use underscore small n and underscore capital N. Underscore small n returns the number of the current observation. Underscore capital N returns the number of total observations. Let's take a look at the first 10 observations of the wage variable by typing list wage in 1 to 10. We can display the first observation of the wage variable by typing display wage and the square bracket. We put the observation number inside the square bracket. Here we type number 1. Similarly, we can display the tenth observation of the variable. If we want to show the last observation of the variable wage, we can specify underscore capital N. If we specify underscore small n minus 1, we can generate a new variable if the current value replaced by the previous value. Let's list the variables. The wage 2 variable contains the previous wage observation. The first observation of wage 2 is missing because there's no previous observation for the first value. Combined with the by sort prefix, the underscore variables provide operations within groups. If we want to create observation number and the total number for each group defined by occupation, we can type by sort occupation generate id equals 
underscore small n. And by sort, occupation generate total equals underscore capital N. Let's go ahead and execute the commands. Now we have sorted the observations based on occupation. Inside the first occupation group, there were 317 observations. The ID values for this group are coded from 1 to 317. 